you. We're going to turn now to a new consumer trend. When you head to the malls this weekend, you just might see an ad for cell phones targeting your toddler. Sounds crazy, I know, but it's all a result of a social phenomenon called age compression. The theory that our children are growing up faster and demanding adult products sooner than ever before. ABC's Andrea Canning has more now. In this fast-paced world, kids can trade in their juice boxes for beer, minus the alcohol, and for some, even master a cell phone before they can read. Yeah. These third graders say they can't wait to act like grown-ups. I like to drive a car and get the blank off. Precocious tweens have big buying power, spending $38 billion a year. But now marketers are aggressively targeting the younger elementary school set with adult-like products. There is this whole focus on a kind of uh, more savvy, more informed, more inclusive kid today. Businesses are taking a cue from today's kids who want to emulate their parents more than ever before. Today's parents are hip. Today's parents wear jeans and they listen to cool music. Years ago, the baby boomer kids were children who should be seen and not heard. Today's kids are very much seen and very much heard. The line between children's toys and grown-up gifts is becoming increasingly blurred with iPods, portable DVD players, and mini cell phones. Hi, Dad. Who here wants a cell phone? Oh, totally. Some cell phone companies are targeting children as young as five. By using kid-friendly characters like Barbie, toy makers such as Mattel are teaming up with the wireless industry, hoping little talkers equal big business. And turn them into loyal customers. If that customer stays with that carrier for a lifetime, that is, is the overall objective. These days, there seems to be a kid's version of just about everything adult, like this non-alcoholic Japanese beer that carries the slogan, even kids can't stand life unless they have a drink. <laughs> Pressures these moms say they can live without. Our parents worried about comic books and, you know, the Three Stooges and stuff like that, bad television. We have to worry about so much more. Psychologists say treating children like adults can form bad habits and turn these young shoppers into big consumers in the future. One of the most common mistakes made in parenting is to think that the child is a miniature adult and the child is not. But it's not always easy knowing when to say no. Please, 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 <laughs> please, please. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, Rockville, Maryland. But you know, the experts say don't worry too much. The studies actually show that the age group paving the way for those third graders, they call it the tween set, mm -hmm. is actually less likely to smoke, drink, do drugs, get oh, really? pregnant than their parents' generation. So at least that's well, That's encouraging. reassuring. Yeah, I think your baby just called on the cell phone now. <laughs> Seriously, growing up fast. We'll be right back. See you.